Hey everyone, Katie from Katie Tutors Math here. Um, today we're going to learn how to divide a polynomial by a binomial. Um, three ways we're going to learn. The first is long division, the second is synthetic division, and the third is the tabular method. We'll use this polynomial over here um, divided by the binomial as our example problem. All right, so let's start out with long division. So Long division is great because it works anytime you're dividing two polynomials. So we'll set up this long division problem just like we would set up any other long division problem. x minus 28, and then we'll put x plus 4 out here. So to start out, we want to make sure anytime we're using any of these methods that um, the polynomial is in order. Um, in terms of its exponents. So we want the bigger exponent, so x cubed, followed by the smaller and the smaller, and then finally until we have no exponent. So we have x cubed, 7x squared, 5x minus 28. We are good to go. All right, so x and x cubed. We want to say how many times does x go into x cubed? Or we can think of what times x gives us x cubed. That is x squared. So we'll put our x squared up here. Second step in long division is to multiply. So we'll do x squared times x, which is x cubed, and then x squared times 4. So we'll do plus 4x squared. The third step is to subtract. Um, whenever I subtract, I like to put a parenthesis around this whole thing just to remind myself that I'm subtracting all of it. So x cubed minus x cubed cancels itself out. 7x squared, and then this is minus 4x squared. We have 3x squared. And then we will bring down the next term, so plus 5x. And then we just repeat those four steps. So x times what equals 3x squared? That would be 3x, so we'll write plus 3x up here. Second step is to multiply, so we have 3x times x is 3x squared. And 3x times 4 is plus 12x. The third step is to subtract. The 3x squareds cancel each other out. And we have 5x minus 12x, or 5x minus 12x, excuse me, is minus 7x. And the fourth step is to bring down the next term, minus 28. All right, x times what equals negative 7x? That would be a minus 7. Minus 7 times x is minus 7x. Minus 7 times 4 is minus 28. When we subtract this, it's going to cancel itself out. We have 0. So our remainder is 0, so this goes in um, exactly with no remainder, and our answer is x squared plus 3x minus 7. All right, let's go on to synthetic division, our second method. So synthetic division only works when we're dividing by a binomial, and when that binomial has a coefficient of 1 on the x term. So if this was, for example, 2x plus 4, we could not use this method. The only reason we can use it is because this x is just by itself. So synthetic division, we're going to start with something like this. And out here, we're going to look at uh, the x plus 4, and we're going to put the opposite of this plus 4. So I'm going to put a minus 4. If it had been like minus 4, then I would put positive 4 here. Um, and then I'll look at each of these terms. Again, we want to make sure they're in order for going from x cubed to x squared to x to no x. Um, and so I'm going to write down their coefficients. So x cubed is 1, 7x squared is 7, 5x is 5, and then negative 28. If we were missing any of these terms, um, if there was, if this was just like x cubed plus 5x minus 28, we would be missing the x squared, and I would put a 0 in for a placeholder for that. All right, so let's go and do this method. So the first step is we will bring down this 1. The second step, we will multiply the negative 4 times the 1. We'll put that right here, minus 4. And then we're going to add. So 7 minus 4 is 3. Then we just complete, keep repeating these steps. So negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. We add 5 plus negative 12 is negative 7. We multiply. Negative 4 times negative 7 is positive 28. And then we add negative 28 plus positive 28 is 0. 
And so this last number is always the remainder. So once again, our remainder is zero. That's good since we're doing the same problem. Uh, and then we'll take these, and these are going to be the coefficients of our answer. So this will be x squared, with a coefficient of 1, plus 3x minus 7. Which if we look back to the long division method, it's the same answer we got. Yay! All right, so just a reminder on synthetic division, we want to we can only do this when we have a binomial on the bottom and the coefficient of x is 1. All right, now let's go into the tabular method. If you're not familiar with um, multiplying using this method, I would recommend learning that first, um, but we'll go over it um, right now. This is essentially using the multiplying and working backwards to figure out what it is by dividing. So with the tabular method, there's a couple of different ways to do this. I'm going to show you the way that makes the most sense to me. Um, we are going to take our x plus 4 and put it down here. x and 4. So we're going to be making a grid here. And our answer is going to end up up here. And what we want to do is all of this stuff in the middle here, we want to add up to equal this part on the top. Um, let's make these lines a little thicker. Separate that a little better. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start out with our x cubed. We'll put that here. And then we wanna say x times what equals x cubed? x squared, and we put that here. And so the way this grid works is that the outside thing, so like for this cell, we take the x and the x squared and we multiply to get x cubed. So for this bottom cell, we would take the 4 and the x squared and we multiply, and we have 4x squared. I'm going to put down another line. All right, so I have my x cubed. And then remember, we're trying to get all of this together if we add it all up to equal the top part here, the x cubed plus 7x squared plus 5x minus 28. So we have our x cubed, we got that taken care of. Now we're looking at the 7x squared. We already have a 4x squared. So what else do we need to get that to 7x squared? Well, we could add 3x squared. So I'm going to stick that right here. So this is the pattern you're going to be following for each term. So then I look at this and my grid still works the same way. So x times something equals 3x squared x times 3x. Okay, now that I've got this 3x here, I can fill in this cell. So we have 3x times 4, which is 12x. And I will put down another line. All right, so I got my 4x squared, 3x squared, that's 7x squared. And I'm going to look at the next term. I want to get 5x. And right now I have 12x. So what do I need to add to 12x to get 5x? Negative 7x. And again, our grid is working the same way. So x times what equals negative 7x? We'll put a negative 7 there. Now we can fill in this cell. 4 times negative 7 is negative 28. Um, we look back here, and we have 12x and minus 7x is 5x. So we've got that taken care of. And then minus 28, minus 28. So there is no remainder with this. And our answer is this top part, once again, x squared plus 3x minus 7. All right, everybody. We just went over three different ways to divide a polynomial by a binomial. Thank you for joining me today. Um, if you are interested in working with me individually in private online tutoring, visit my site at katietutorsmath.com. Thank you.